What's up guys, in this video we'll take a look at ray marching in depth shader using Unreal Engine and we'll create this cool effect. Alright, so very first thing what we'll do is we'll create a new material and you can give any name you want, so probably a custom material, you know. Um, yeah, and then we'll create a custom node and we'll connect that to the emissive color. And you might see a bright white globe in there. And we're using this because we can use this code feature. And we'll actually code in VS Code so I can so that uh, Alex will actually expand this. So we'll create a floor 3 um, ray step. So basically we are setting up the ray marching. In this we are getting a view direction and we are multiplying it by negative 1. And then uh, we need to create the actual texture object, uh, input texture. So that would be uh, a texture 2D sample. And then in here, we'll actually pass in the texture object. Uh, so make sure you are using the same name. So I'm putting TEXT object, but it doesn't have to be. As long as you specify the same name and put that same in the object sample, and then we'll do the UV as well, okay. Um, next we'll do a for loop to actually step in depth and draw the ray uh, texture in various steps. So whatever the I less than value is, that's the amount of slice, okay. Um, so uh, we are assuming the texture to be black and white and white means to actually sew and then the black means to clip it. So if RGB channel, um, are greater than 1.0.1 .1, then we want to return a color um, and for my purpose I'm doing a green and so that's RGB channel so 0 I and 0 so I'm using I so that it adds a shading so each time it's looping uh, the texture sample had some gradient uh, okay after that we need to step UV with the rest tip and then multiply by point 0.12 so that's uh, for in between distance between the slice. Finally, we'll get the input uh, texture. We also need the um, UV, the XY, and this helps to sample the new texture in depth. Finally, we'll return the result. So we'll return the input texture. So now let's go ahead and copy this and let's paste it into that code section. Of course, you will get some error in here uh, because we'll need to add those um, objects uh, Unreal is like I don't know what view direction is what text object is where is the UV okay so we'll start with the um, yeah we'll just create uh, you make sure to use the same name okay UV is the UV um, and then we need to add the uh, I and I'm, I'm guessing we use a text object text object so we we'll use use a text object in there so whatever name you use, if you use T object, use that T object, and then we'll do a view node, okay? Uh, the view direction is we want to use the um, the camera vector for it. Uh, for the UV, it's a texture coordinate, okay? Uh, and then for the actual text object, um, we'll use the, uh, we can actually use the texture object itself. Yeah, there is a node. So we can plug that in and make sure it's a black and white mask. So in here, I actually used a black and white image so you can use that in a texture object and that's how you get the effect. If you see, it's uh, slicing and it's a linearly gradient as well and it creates that depth effect if you see and that's a 20 or 25, whatever amount we put, that's the amount of slice it uses. Hopefully this was helpful to you in terms of learning about this new shader. Uh, let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns, or if you want to see something new. I would be happy to make new tutorials. Until then, goodbye.